Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Kingdom Come. We are here to see the Bailiff, I think? Where... maybe up here? This looks like a place where a Bailiff could be. Hello! I can't open that. <gasps> oh wait, hold on. Skills. Here we go. Strength. Your stamina regeneration will not slow down in combat even on the weapon backswing. That sounds good. You can deplete your opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him at a sprint. Hmm. Let's do tight grip. The tightest of grips. Falling will cause 30% less injury. Oh, that's one that we have access to. Um, okay, well, never mind that then. Is that it? Okay. Combat? Oh, a combo? Stab slash slash. Instead of a started strike from the right, strike unexpectedly at the opponent's face. Turn your weapon around his and strike him quickly with the blunt end. If you have a shield, use its edge for striking. So just doing this combo... okay. Slash slash stab. With a rapid Zorn Howl from the Ox Stance, parry the opponent's strike to the side from your left shoulder and thrust the point straight into his, to his chest. Okay. Stab slash slash. Okay. I'll try and remember that. Stab slash slash. Didn't realize there were combos. I'll be with you. Like actual combos. Let's join the bailiff service. Put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. I am. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Sure. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Mm. I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman... Nightingale, they call him. We'll wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Okay. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Ushitz. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Pick up your kit at the armory. Join Nightingale on patrol between 11 and 1900. Got it. Where is the armory? Is this the armory? Yeah, okay. Uh, probably be faster just to travel down there and then run in the army from here. Oh, our nourishment's right. We need to go find a pot or something. Speaking of.
Don't mind if I do. Um, no, 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 no. Let that bleed down a little bit. So the armory is... Oh, maybe in there. Hello, I belong here. I guess I talked to you? Since all those things say lockpick, I'm guessing we need to talk to this man. I don't want to steal from I was from told them. to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola? Mm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Okay. A bludgeon, huh? Huh. Yeah, all right. Oh, I forget. Oh, Van Brace is already on. Nice. Okay, cool. And we just got light padded armor. That's condition zero. There we go. Padded coif. No. Condition 100. Okay. Kind of have a heavy load here. But, all right, let's start a patrol. What, uh, what time is it? Was it 11? It said 11 to 19, right? Tomorrow, peasants. All right, so the person we need to see is somewhere around here. Are any of you Nightingale? There we go. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. Kinda. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I am... Um, uh, I thank well, her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Courtship, huh? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. 
This is our right. church, St. Matthew's. All right, so if you must follow somebody, slow down to a walk. That way you won't alert your quarry sure and not you only can is the enjoy a pleasant God, stroll. But as the crypt of the Lords of Lypa, our masters. Can I take the your saber? Right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, Carrots not even apple. as a guard. Today, Naturally, we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Yeah, I've figured most of this stuff out already, but thank you. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not bigger? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Hmm. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Hmm. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. Well, that's true. What would you know about it? Hmm. Well, we got a plus two. Bring us up to a seven. Uh, I'll I'll give a grosh on Jane. Day. Take this and be on your way. Yes, yes. Thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Huh. I hope that was the right way. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Okay. Mm Oh, 
Well, nice casual stroll through the town. Good sky. Hey, who's there? This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Hey! What? The heck? Oh man! We also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Sounds terrible. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Can't wait. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okay. They really wanted to give you the full patrol experience. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Here's the forge. The blacksmith <laughs> has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Hmm. You remember me? I'm a guard now, man. Crazy, right? Out here. Guarding. Oh, I didn't know about this. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Cool. Good morrow, Adam. So, it's a really impressive city you got here, Nightingale. It's really cool. 
the, the thatch work on this house is just top notch, man. Huge balls over here. God be that with you, dude. How goes it? Good. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Um, I can barely oh, hear you, buddy. See. Now where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? So it's better if I deal with it, and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? So where is he? Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. You should probably correct your posture, man. It looks like you, uh... I don't know, need to go to the restroom or something. Oh, oh, hey, we're running now. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I wasn't prepared. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? <sighs> Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Can I get your helmet? It's kind of a cool helmet. I like those types of helmets. Kettle helms, I think? Hey, Henry. Let's have a drink. Wait, didn't you just punish him for the exact same thing? Well, it must be nice when you're in charge. Certainly. I'll fetch it right away. That fool got me all worked up. Now I gotta get drunk. Gosh dang it. <laughs> me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Yeah, hypocrisy. I love it. Sounds Why good. Not? You've learned entertainment. Dice. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, dice game of Farkle. In every respectable tavern. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown, and the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one or five thrown. And for three or more of a kind of any other number. One is worth 100, five is worth 50. Three of a kind is worth 100 points multiplied by the given number. So three-fourths is worth 400 points. Okay. Um, Three-ones is worth 1,000 points. Okay. And then four of a kinds and five of a kinds. Target number of points you have to get. The points you've gained so far. Subtotal for the round. Total value of the dice just marked. Okay. All right. A player's turn always begins by throwing all six dice. The player then uses A to select and set aside scoring dice. And at least one die must always be set aside. Then the player can throw the remaining dice again using X. Okay. Key element of the game is that if a thrown, if a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over, and all points gained up to the point during the turn are lost. Oh. I see. Hmm. So set aside scoring dice? Huzzah. So now, we have a three of a kind, right? If we put this together, of one, so we get a thousand points right there. I think we score and pass. Oh, it has to be on that roll. It can't just be, oh. 
That'll do me. I see. Well. So that's the three of a kind, right? And then an extra one. So I'm good. Score and pass. I shouldn't have pushed it. Ha <laughs> ha! You suck. Score and pass. That's it. This will be the one. Hmm, getting lucky. Don't push it. That'll do me. Okay. Is that a triple of six? That's a four of a kind for sixes? And two ones? Ho, 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 ho. Wow, that roll though. And we gambled into the night. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know mm. how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up um. at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Okay. What was the torch key? I don't remember for the controller. I think it was on a separate button. Enemy weapon, move, kick. Okay. Guess there isn't just a torch key. What? What the hell? All right. Well, let's just equip that then. There we go. There it is. All right, ring the bell and then go to the Trader Tavern. Understood. Wait. I'm going the right Yeah, yeah, it's the right way. There's only one main road. Of course, it's the right way. Up, Taylor. Nice hat. I took off a similar hat off someone I beat up. Pardon me. Oh, okay. Okay. Life of a guard. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and <laughs> rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 
we can we can see we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. Did <laughs> <laughs> to find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean. The beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save them, bacon. <laughs> so, Hannes, forgive my intrusion, but Is I need to go well. What? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. Is your if hair I purple? You, I get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the Oh door. my god. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, Henry. Is he here? What is he He's hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no. Henry. Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! Oh my You God. can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. <sighs> Henry, why? You gotta be smarter than that, man. Come on. Okay. All right. All right. Oops, he did it. Here you are. Yeah. Good health. <laughs> Madam, I'm sorry. I can't drink right now. I'm gonna fight. I'd like something to eat. <laughs> in your face and your stupid uh oh crucifix what in the name of christ is happening here well answer me damn you this peasant insulted me i had oh, to man. teach him a lesson by rolling around in the mud like a hog that's a fine example of noble conduct so hannes the bailiff ordered me silence to you shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Don't say a word, Henry. Don't I have responsibilities for the baby. Not anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Man, we made it one day. Not even a full day as a cop. One measly day. How 
dumb are you, man? Talking back to nobles. You've got to be... Oh, well. It is what it is. What do we have here? So this is still the quest to get the ring and pay back the people. Uh, that's to get some side quests. Meet Lord Capon at dawn in the courtyard. Alright, I guess we just go to sleep. I can try and sneak into... Oh, but I don't have a lock a lockpick yet. Hmm. I don't know where to get a lockpick from. We haven't met a fence yet. I assume they would have it. I did talk to the mill, uh, the miller, to see if he had one, but I didn't see the option to get lockpicks from him. All right. Well, let's just go back home. Oh man, Henry, Henry, Henry. I can talk to him again though, because he seems like the shitty type that would have him, but. Jesus Christ be praised. Yep. Like, I don't see the option here, so... I doubt any, like, respectable trader would sell a lockpick. Is this open? Ooh, nice. Um, 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 um. Alright, go to sleep. I want to get there bright and early. <sighs> Man, Ratzig said, you know, do me proud. Not even a single day. And yeah, we already causing problems for him. I want a new character. Can I turn this one in for a new one? Did that not save the game? No, that says Traitor's Tavern. Isn't it supposed to save whenever you sleep? Why did that not save? Huh. Uh, probably don't need the budget anymore. So we may sell that? Nah, eh, we'll put it away for right now. Put that away. Can't use the piercer until we get minimum strength of 7, right? So maybe we should just put that away? Eh, I'll keep it. Whatever. It's fine, it's fine. We don't need two torches. I'll move one of those. Okay. Alright. Oh, I guess we can probably just do this. Wait, what? Do I have to be outside to fast travel? Also, let's uh, wash yourself. There we go. Tasty stew.
Well, this should be fun. What's the chances of this character actually turning into a good or decent person? Are they going to have a one of those kind of storylines? I really doubt it. I really, in fact, I think they're going to try and get us killed. That's my guess. They're going to like accidentally shoot us with an arrow or something. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Yeah, I don't think he has a redemption arc. Hmm, I'm not seeing the option to ride this one, so... Okay, well, I guess we just... Ride behind, or walk behind him. Great. Lovely. Okay. Little puppies. Look here, Hello, Black sheep. Smith. About that business at the alehouse. Oh boy. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Wait, is there going to be a redemption story with this guy? Is he actually not as much of a jackass as I thought? No. Maybe? I mean, just like two minutes ago, he's like, how about you just walk on your two own legs, you filthy peasant? Else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can. Sir. Like, maybe this is him thinking he's being a, a good person? I don't know. There is a lot of horse shit on these Listen, roads. I wanted to ask you about scallops. Well, I don't know if... Um... That is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scallets and, um, oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well... It's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. I'm not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. 
If you wish, hey sir. There, and don't dilly dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Like, either he's just putting up an act, or maybe he isn't 100% of an asshole. And he, either way, I, I've still been enjoying the hell out of most of these characters. They're well written. And acted. We'll make camp here. <gasps> I need to kill bunnies for that other mission that we got like hours ago. Oh, I, mm, but I don't really. Uh, you're lucky, bunny. I don't want to pull out my sword and like piss this dude off or something. Wait, someone was already here? Bring me wine and bacon from the saddlebag. Sure. I am your most humble servant. Coming up, sir. At long last. Okay. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, sir. Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Ah. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? But... <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So... Tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. Yeah, let's just give in. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scallets, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me. I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scallets isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too ah. late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir.
Okay. I mean, he, he was even cool about me not like, kind of raising my voice to be like, yo, look, we're done talking about this. <sighs> yeah, maybe he is until Jack. Like, now I feel like he's going to die out here by bandage or something. It's going to be put on me and, like, we're going to be hated by the nobles or something. You know? That's just kind of what the feeling I get. Wait, is this a trunk? Is this all my stuff? No, 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 this is not my stuff. But this isn't stealing, right? Okay. I mean, if it's just gonna be out here, it'd be a waste to, uh... Keep it there. So we should probably have this equipped because we have a severe penalty because we don't have a strength of seven yet. Put that back on. Let's see, hunting arrow, 80 damage, better hunting arrow. Okay, equip that, and a bow. Well, look at us. Aren't we spiffy? All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time where we go hunting, and hopefully this guy lives throughout the day. I just, I got a bad feeling now. Now that he's actually being cool, that's kind of where stories typically kill the person who is a jackass, but then ends up actually being kind of cool, and yeah, I have a bad feeling about it. But I'll see you next time. Take care.